Premier Player Football Academy. We started about 18 months ago. Um, it's it's basically um, highly experienced coaches. Um, recruited a lot of highly experienced coaches, highly qualified, enthusiastic coaches, most of whom have been ex-pros, um, to deliver coaching to um, five-year-olds up to under 16-year-olds in the uh, in the north in the northeast. So we have currently have academies in Darlington, Hartlepool, and Middlesbrough. And um, yeah, it's going well. Yeah, it's going well. We've, re we've probably potentially got over 400 kids at the moment, and um, from all different uh, abilities. All different clubs. Um, we don't have any junior teams. We just um, provide coaching. And what's the ethos behind the Premier Player? Well, as I said, I've been involved in professional football all my life. I've been a professional goalkeeper, and a, I'm currently a professional coach at York City. Um, and one of the things that I, I felt was that um, sometimes I think you know the coaching can be better, and, and I'm a strong believer in that you're only as good as your coach. And um, you know, if you look back through my career, I had two or three that uh, I, I thought really, really taught, taught me something and had an impact on my career and, I, and I've tried to bring that into Premier Player. You know, at the moment I've um, directed football, we've got Mark Proctor, um, ex-Middlesbrough first team coach. Um, I worked with Mark when I was at Darlington and obviously a fantastic career as a, as a player and as a coach. And Neil Madison, another a licensed coach. Um, Dave McTeenan, former Middlesbrough player. Uh, Bernie Slaven is our strikers coach. I mean, you know, I've got household names that all the, the parents will know. And, you know, the, the biggest qualification, although they all you for qualified from pro license down to B license, is they're good with, with kids, you know, they can put the information across well, the kids respond to them, the kids look forward to coming to the session. And, you know, we try and uh, make our sessions fun, but at the end of the day, they're here to learn. And, um, yeah, you know, that I think we're growing steadily, and, and I think the the feedback the parents, you know, the best form of recommendation is through parents and, you know, like I said, we, we grow them week on week and, it, and it, I'm a strong believer in that it's because we've got really good experienced coaches and, uh, and yeah, they deliver really, you know, good sessions, but the kids enjoy it. What sessions are you doing tonight? Tonight we're working on uh, dribbling and running with the ball. So what we do is we work through a, a curriculum. Um, so we, we've got a 13-week curriculum and then a parents evening and then we repeat it three times over the year so we can see a steady improvement hopefully. So you know each week there'll be a different topic, tonight's dribbling, running with the ball, next week passing and receiving, turning and so on. Um, so that yeah, so that the, the lads steadily build up, you know, they, they'll play games, they'll have a games programme sort of um, at the end of the 13-week the, the cycle. Um, but yeah, we try and focus more on the actual coaching, the technical stuff, and then the players all on a weekend play for their own junior clubs, and obviously they take that into the performances on a weekend. And as I said, you know the feedback is that the boys are, are improving, and you know, that's that's fantastic feedback for us. And what ages are you coaching? We coach, well, we've just started a mini pros academy, so we go from under fives. So the mini pros is five, six, sevens. Then we coach eight, nine, tens. We coach right over under sixteens. Um, we actually deliver the college course at Redcar. Um, college as well, so we do a post 16 course there. But um, yeah, we, we try and we coach in very small groups as well. N there'll never be more than 12 kids in a group. You know, I'm a strong believer in, in not kids running everywhere, you know, quality, not quantity. Um, so, yeah, so at any one point, you know, a coach is given a lot of his time to an individual player, you know, there's not 20 kids per coach. Um, and, it, and it does, it allows the coach to step in, um, give each player. Um, actual sort of focus coaching individually during that session even though there might you know like I said there might only be 10 kids each coach is getting um, plenty of time with each individual player <laughs>